That was actually completely spontaneous. I didn't tell anybody I was going to do it. And I'll tell you what, you never know when the Lord's going to move you. Uh, but I felt like somebody had to speak up for those jobs. And that's what it looks like to stand up for Minnesotans. And that's what it looks like to stand up for jobs. And I'm damn proud that it's our party that's doing it. Every Democrat in the Minnesota House voted against that bill and voted against those jobs. Every single one. Including the one that's running for Congress in CD8. But we sent that bill through the House, they sent it through the Senate, we put it on the governor's desk, but our governor vetoed that bill and vetoed those jobs. That's why this election is so important. Republicans have an incredible opportunity to reach Minnesotans who have been let down, left behind, and forgotten by Democrat Mark Dayton. We have seen the results of what a good policy can do in the Minnesota House. When I was elected minority leader, we had 61 members. Today, we have 77. That's eight more members than we've ever had after a presidential election. And despite divided government, our team has accomplished an incredible amount. We've delivered the largest tax relief package in nearly 20 years, including eliminating the state tax on 72,000 Minnesotans' Social Security income. We invested in road and bridge projects across the state using existing funds that we already collect. We spent them on things that you expect them, us to spend them on, on roads and bridges, and we did it by defeating the Democrats' gas tax increase. We stopped all funding from the state of Minnesota for Southwest Light Rail. We put it in law. It's literally against the law to spend money on Southwest Light Rail now. We ended the last in, first out default policy for laying off teachers so that we can keep the best educators in our classrooms. We blocked Democrats' attempts to give illegal immigrants to driver's license and radical left ideas like disarming our police officers. And I'll tell you what, I'm really honored to lead what I think is the best team ever the members of the Minnesota House. So please, I want to ask members of the Minnesota House to stand up and be recognized. Give them a round of applause. They work really hard on your behalf, and these members are up for election this year, and they need your help and your support. We are fired up to have the governor's office two U.S. Senate seats, all of our constitutional offices, and a special election in the Senate on the ballot with us. Let's seize this opportunity this year to show Minnesotans that we're fighting for them where Democrats have failed them. And let's start by turning our more state house districts red, then we'll turn our congressional districts red, we'll turn our constitutional offices red, and we will elect a Republican governor and have complete control of state government for the first time ever in this state. It's been an incredible honor to serve as the leader of this team and as the Speaker of the House. Thank you so much for coming, for participating in this process. Together, we can turn this state red. Thank you so much.